Yeah, continuing coverage now, there is a joint effort underway to ensure everyone in Shreveport has access to the COVID-19 vaccine, especially in disproportionately affected communities. NBC6's Darren Todd went to Allendale today and has the report. Started fighting this pandemic 16 months ago. It's it was about saving lives and it still is. Tuesday officials from the Department of Housing and Urban Development and the Department of Health and Human Services, along with state and local officials, including Mayor Adrian Perkins, visited the Renaissance of Allendale Apartments to speak about a joint agency effort to increase in access to the COVID-19 vaccine among disproportionately affected communities. If we think about COVID, which we are not 1,000% out of yet, uh, we think about the devastation that it did to our community. We know that it is a devastating virus. According to the Department of Health, only 29% of our region is vaccinated. Parents stood in line to show their support and allow their children to receive the vaccine. So with us getting ready to go back to school pretty soon, I wanted him to be vaccinated so that he will be covered, you know, if anything goes on. At first he was like, no mama, but then after driving over here, he got a little, you know, confident about it. I came, I seen it on the news, and then it was over in my community in Allendale. So I brought my son out today to get his, because I already got mine. Officials with HUD says that Caddo is among four parishes in the state to have high hesitation rates. Our goal at HUD is to make vaccines accessible to um, the HUD assisted residents, uh, homeless shelters. Each one of us really has a duty to take this vaccine, protect not only ourselves but others. And you know, there's always a chance we could get a change in the strain that makes us who are vaccinated not protected. Darren Todd, NBC6 News. Darren, thank you. Another walk-in site will be set up tomorrow at the Cypress Landing apartment complex with vaccinations available between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m.